What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm talking about my favorite place to buy and sell sneakers and I might even buy a grail. One of the most common questions that I get on my channel is what's my favorite place to buy and sell sneakers and right off the bat my answer is StockX. And it's funny because one of the other most asked questions on my channel is is StockX legit? Is StockX worth it? Should I use StockX? And so forth. So I figured today we'll put all those questions to rest and I'll show you the ins and outs of buying and selling on StockX. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's this pair of shoes that I've been looking for for a long time and if you guys have been watching my vlogs you know exactly what it is and I think today Today I'm gonna to pull the trigger. So first things first, what is StockX? StockX is a website and an app where you can buy and sell streetwear and sneakers. And there's a lot of great things about StockX, which is why I use this primarily as my way of buying and selling sneakers, which I'll get into in a minute. But the most important thing when buying and selling sneakers is making sure that the sneakers that you're buying or selling are legit. So the way StockX works is that it connects the buyers to the sellers and it allows you to find pretty much any sneaker or any piece of streetwear that you're looking for. The buyer purchases the shoes through the website and then that notifies the seller who then ends up shipping the shoes to StockX directly. Now the reason the seller ships the shoes to StockX rather than directly to the buyer is because it allows StockX to actually look at the shoes in hand and verify that they are in fact legitimate. And like I said, that's one of the best parts about the website because whenever you buy a pair of shoes on StockX, you know that the shoe you're getting is legit. So once the seller ships the shoes to StockX and they receive it in their warehouse, they legit check it and then once that's complete, they send it off to the buyer. So my plan for this is that I'm actually going to buy a pair of sneakers today and then once they come in, I'll create a review of those sneakers. I'll let you guys know how long it took. I'll show you you guys what comes in the box and all that sort of good stuff. But like I said, there's a lot of other great things about StockX that make it such a unique and great way to buy and sell sneakers. But let me give you guys an example of if I was selling a pair of shoes right now. So here's the main page of the website. Let's use the most recently released Yeezy Boost right here. So the way the system works is basically you have a tab to buy and you have a tab to sell. So say you have a size 9 pair of Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s in the Beluga 2.0 colorway and you want to sell this shoe. Basically what you do is you click the sell tab. It's going to ask you to pick the size you want to sell. So in my case I'd probably be selling a size 9. And then this is where selling gets interesting because it allows you two options. The first option is to set an ask which is basically the amount you're willing to sell the pair of shoes for. So based on the highest current bid which is the amount that a buyer is willing to pay for the shoes right now and then the lowest ask Ask, which is the amount the seller is willing to sell the shoes right now, I would think I'd get about $390 gross for these shoes. So with the ask, you can actually type in however much money you're willing to give up the shoe for. There is a caveat. The caveat is the lowest ask is the first person to get their shoes bought. So for example, I put in $400, which is the amount I want to sell my pair of shoes for, but the lowest ask is $396. So if someone buys the shoes right now, they're going to buy the $396 one and not my $400 one. And that will continue to happen until your ask is the lowest ask. So for example, if I wanted to competitively price my pair of sneakers, I'd list them at 395 bucks. So now I'm the lowest ask, which means my pair will be the first pair to be purchased when someone clicks the buy button. The great thing about the ask tab is that you're able to set whatever price you're willing to let the shoes go for, but sometimes it takes a couple days or they might not sell. If you really want to get rid of your shoes right now and get a quick cash out, you can go over to the sell now tab. And what the sell now tab has is the highest bid that a buyer is willing to pay right now. So in the same way that you can set an ask for the amount of money you're willing to take for your pair of shoes, a buyer can set a bid for the highest amount that they're willing to pay for this pair of shoes. And again, the highest bid will be the first bid to be picked. So if you're the highest bid and someone wants to sell to you right now, then you'll be the one to be picked. So for example, $393 is the highest bid. So I could sell my pair of shoes right now for $393. Or if that was too much money for me, I could set a bid at like $350, but I wouldn't be the first pair of shoes to be bought. If my bid was $350, the only time someone would actually buy my pair of shoes is if the highest bid goes below my bid. So as the seller, I see that the highest bid is $393 which actually is only $3 off the lowest ask. So if I was selling my pair of shoes, I'd probably sell right now. And then what you want to do is create an account if you haven't already done that. And basically what will happen is when you sell your pair of shoes, it'll email you the shipping information. Of course, when you sell a pair of shoes, StockX will take a little cut, which is usually about 10%. However, if you go to most consignment stores, it's more like 20%. So this is pretty much the cheapest way to do it. And the best part about selling on StockX is that they actually provide the shipping label for you. So you don't have to type in any addresses or anything like that. They literally give you the shipping label, you cut it out, you stick it on your box and you ship it off. I've done a lot of reselling over the years because not only do I love sneakers, but I run a sneaker channel and there's a lot of stuff coming in and going out. And this is the best way for me to do it. One, because of ease of use. And two, because like I said, the cut that they take is smaller than basically everyone, including eBay. So it's super easy to do and I love it. So before I get into buying, I want to show you guys another cool feature about StockX and that's the portfolio feature. So basically what the portfolio feature is, is you can list all the sneakers that you have in your entire collection by going to that sneaker on their website and adding it to your digital collection. So by 
by doing this, you can keep track of exactly how many sneakers you have, how much the market value technically is, and how much you gained or lost based on your collection. So obviously this isn't my collection because I don't have $391,000 worth of shoes. This guy's got a lot of everything. But what you do is you list the sneaker in the size that you got it, you can list the condition that the sneaker comes in, the purchase date, how much you bought it for, and the current market value. So for example, they're using an OG 750, they have it in dead stock condition, they purchased it on February 14th, 2015, and they bought it for $350. So what StockX does after you entered all that information is they tell you exactly how much the sneaker is going for right now. So in this case, the market value is 5,833. I can't believe I sold my pair. I sold it for so little too. <sighs> And then they subtract the purchase price from the market value and give you your net gain or loss. So in this case, it looks like he bought all of these Yeezys at retail, and then this is how much they're worth, and this is how much he's made on each pair. The cool thing about the portfolio feature is that most of us don't have a lot of dead stock sneakers, and you can actually still portfolio the shoes that you have that you've worn, or even the shoes that you've bought for above retail. And the same thing applies. It takes the price that you bought the shoe for, and it takes the market value depending on condition, and then it gives you the net gain or loss. One thing to keep in mind though, which is actually a really good thing, is that on StockX, you can only buy and sell dead stock sneakers. So you're able to catalog the sneakers that you have that are worn, but you can't actually sell them on StockX. With all that out of the way, let's get to the fun part, which is buying sneakers. So like I said, I'm gonna buy a grail that I've been wanting for a really long time, and I finally decided to pull the trigger and buy it. So I'm stoked. Let's do this. So just like in real life, window shopping in StockX is a lot of fun because you can see all the most popular sneakers right now, all the most recent lowest asks, all the highest bids, and my favorite part, which comes in handy whenever I do the sneaker release sit or sells, because I refer to this constantly, it's the release calendar. So the release calendar shows you all the shoes coming up and how much they're going for right now. So you've got the lowest ask and the highest bid on each pair of sneakers. So of course we've got the cause fours and the lowest ask is 1925. So when you make an account, you save your size, so it automatically defers to your size on on the website, so obviously I'm a size nine. And it looks like the lowest price for a pair that I can buy right now is $2,000. Whew. I'm so mad I missed out on these. Actually, I'm not I'm not that mad because well, there was a chance of me actually getting them. Pretty much none. And it looks like the highest someone's willing to pay right now is $1,500, which, I mean, that's pretty reasonable. So of course, on the page, you get a picture of the shoe, you get this nice little blurb about the shoe, and then on the bottom left-hand corner here, you get the colorway, the retail price, the release date, and then below that, you have some related products, but honestly, I probably shouldn't be looking at this shoe at all. Let's, uh, let's go look at something more reasonable. <laughs> let's go to the uh, Off-White Vapor Maxes. These are dope. Okay, so the price is a lot cheaper on this one. It's $699 is the lowest ask, $650 is the highest bid. You've got the colorway again, you've got the retail price of $250, which to be honest is a lot for a Vapor Max. I'm not gonna lie about that. You've got related products, and then this is a really cool feature. So it tells you all the previous pairs that have sold in your size, what the sale prices were, and then the date and the time. And then below that you have this graph that shows you all the different prices on the different days, so you can get a good idea of how the market's fluctuating. So it looks like on November 21st they were selling for almost a grand, and now on November 27th they're down to like $700 which, you know, is not bad. It's a good thing to wait sometimes. And then on the right-hand side, it tells you the total amount of sales, the price premium, which is the price over retail, or the percentage over retail, and then the average sale price. And obviously that average sale price changes on a regular basis, but that's probably what you can expect to pay. Okay, now, I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. I don't wanna spend time looking at the stupid Off-White Vapor Max, although it is dope. Let's get to buying my pair of shoes. Okay guys, this is where, this is where it gets exciting. Let me go to most popular because I think I saw them in the most popular list. Currently the most popular shoe on StockX is the Yeezy Boost Semi Frozen. I, I can't get behind that colorway guys. Then you got the new Yeezys that just dropped, of course the triple whites. It's a pretty Yeezy dominated market right now, I'm not gonna lie. There's some shoes up here which are pretty expensive that I'm actually surprised they're as popular as they are. So you've got the off-white ones. 270 pairs have sold. That's a surprising amount for a shoe that's over a grand. You've got the top three in the gold and black colorway, super clean. I, I'm surprised that this tan Pharrell human race is the highest selling human race right now. That's that's crazy, I, don't, I can't stand that colorway. The black and white colorway though is fire, no question. Let's see, I love the Nike off-white hyper dunks, those are fire. Have these guys. What pair do you guys think it's gonna be? The pair that I'm looking at is on this section of the page right now. You guys probably already know. I should stop teasing you guys. I don't know why I'm doing this. It is time to buy my dream pair. So obviously this is the Air Presto Off-White. That is a beautiful looking shoe. Style, they give you the style code if you if you need that. Um, colorway, black, black muslin. Uh, retail price 160 I wish I was paying that, that little. Um, release date, obviously September 9th. So the trade range right now for all sizes is 800 to 890. The 52 week high is $2,400. That's crazy, and the low is 750, which is the lowest it's ever been. You know what, why don't I click my size? Let's see what my size is going for. Ha, <laughs> what? Well, you know what? I said I was gonna do it, so we're doing this. 
I can't, I can't wait guys, this is crazy. So the lowest price right now is $1,000 even. This is a lot of money, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Let me just double check that everything's right. Size nine, off-white Presto, dead stock. Everything looks good. I've been waiting for this shoe for so long. And honestly, as a buyer, my favorite part about StockX is that they usually have the best price on the market because like I said before, the seller fees are pretty small so the sellers can drop the price a little bit. And there's so many people trying to sell their shoes to you so the prices do naturally drop. Really quick, before I buy this, let me just check the price at some other well-known consignment stores in the same size. So in a size nine, 13.45. Yeah, that's, that's a lot more. Let's check uh, this other website too. Again, $300 more. Okay, well, you know, like I said before, StockX usually has the best price, so that's the way to go. Here we go, we're buying it, we're buying it. Size nine, buy now. So shipping's $13.95, so the total came out to $1,013.95. Size nine, new, unworn, and original box, certified authentic. I did it, I did it, I bought them. Yes! Okay, let me go over to my buying tab. Off-white Presto, waiting for seller to ship. That's awesome. I'm stoked. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the video. That is buying, selling, and everything in between on StockX. It's a 100% legit way to buy and sell sneakers. I wanna give a huge thank you to StockX for sponsoring this video. And I also wanna say that I wouldn't be doing this video if I didn't really believe in the product. This is a website that I use constantly and I've been using it since it came out. And I wouldn't be doing this video if I didn't like it. The shoes are always verified authentic. The prices are good. Selling is easy. And the shoes get to your door surprise. Fast. So like I said before, I'm going to be reviewing this pair of off-white Prestos. I'll let you guys know how long it took for the shoes to get in. I'll do a full unbiased review on the sneakers and uh, make sure to stay tuned. If you guys want to check out StockX for yourself, there will of course be a link in the description below. So make sure to click that, create your own account, get buying and selling. It's a blast. I love it. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you wanna see more content just like this, and follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below. And also, while you're at it, turn on notifications so you can know exactly when I'm getting these Prestos in because that's gonna be a dope video.